geography book chapter 3 migration migration means to move to a home in a new place permanently or temporarily human migration is the movement of people from one place to another often over long distances for the purpose of living in the new location permanently or for a long term it may be undertaken by an individual or a group migration excludes short term movements like those of nomads commuters and tourists in which the migrants do not intend to stay at the new location for long reasons for migration migration is voluntary when people themselves choose to migrate for example in search of better opportunities some migrate migration though voluntary are forced by conditions such as wars famines and epidemics causes of migration people migrate for various reasons they compare the advantages and disadvantage of staying where they are and move to a new place the causes of migration may be grouped into two main categories push factors and pull factors push factor the difficulties that cause people to immigrate are called push factors uh, some of the major push factors are as follows food shortage shortage of jobs low earnings and unstable economic condition lack of amenities such as good housing transport power supply medical facilities education and so on war natural disasters like recurrent floods famines and so on pull factor the factors that attracts immigrants to certain place are called pull factor some of the major pull factors are as follows abundance of food and other sources higher earnings better employment opportunities and a stable economy better amenities political stability low risk of natural disaster types of migration migration may be outward or inward outward migration or the movement of people out of a region is called immigration and the people who move out are called immigrants inward migration or the movement of people into a region is called immigration and the people who move in are called immigrants internal migration when people move to a new home in another another place within the same country it is called internal migration the migration of people from rural to urban areas and from small urban areas to large urban areas in search of better opportunities are example of internal migration external migration when people cross an international border and move to a new home in a different country it is called external migration external migration may be intercontinental means between the continent or it may be intracontinental means between countries in the same continent <coughs> impact of migration large scale migration affects the region from which people migrate and region to which the migrants go it may change the size and the sex age sex composition of population it may also change birth rates and death rates and social conditions such as level of education condition of health and so on it may change economic condition too like production and resource development income and expenses advantages of immigration immigration reduces the population density which in turn reduces the pressure on resources this helps control over population immigration reduces birth rates as migrants are almost young adults who wish to raise a family migrants often send back money to people in their original home this helps improve the economy of their native place disadvantages of immigration immigration may lead to loss of labor especially skilled labor this slows down economic development immigration leads to a loss of young people of working age immigration causes family structure to break down as men often migrate without their families immigrants often give up their own culture and adopt the culture of the place where they settle advantages of immigration immigration reduces underpopulation it increases the supply of labor often it increases the supply of skilled labor all this help in economic development immigrant workers may be willing to work at cheaper rates than native worker they may also be willing to do job that native workers avoid immigration increases the working population especially in developed region where birth and death rates are low and the last section of population comprises old people 
the presence of people of different races religion language and cultures in a society increases understanding and tolerance among different groups people coming from other countries can encourage the local people to learn different languages which makes it easier for them to work in other country disadvantages of immigration large scale immigration increases the pressure on local sources especially in crowded areas such as cities for example if large number of houses are built in a small space most people have to live in small apartment house rent and land price are very high sometimes industries prefer to employ cheap migrant labor this makes it difficult for local people to get jobs a large amount of money earned by the immigrants is sent away to their native places Large scale immigration of people having a language and religion different from the local may cause conflict and with this I am ending my today's class goodbye